Hello everyone, welcome to another Still Speaks video, but you already knew that because you are so, so smart. And speaking of the smartest people, only the smartest people have hit that subscribe button, and they ring that bell and they turn on all notifications. So be part of the hottest Supreme Commander 2 action that this channel has to offer. It's free for you, and it means the world to me. And speaking of meaning the world to me, have you guys checked out my band's latest song called Back to You? If not, Please click the link down below and check it out on Spotify. Listen to it two or three times and put it on a playlist that helps me out more than you know. Or wait to the very end and you could hear the chorus at the very end of this video. So anyhow, thank you so much for sitting through that. You guys are amazing. So I saw this replay. It has two of my favorite players that are playing right now. So without further ado, let's get on with it. The map is Open Palms. It is a favorite of the pros in 1v1. It's a 3v3 map. I, we've seen FFAs, we've seen 3v3s, but usually we see these wonderful 1v1s. So let's introduce the players. We got the one, the only Iron... Com oh, let's hit play first, huh? Let's get back to that. Let's, let's, let's get back and let's do it right. It's 1am, by the way. I'm very tired, but I realized I needed to get this out for you. So we got... Iron Commanders, the... Let's turn and start over. We got the one, the only Iron Commander spawning in as the blue Aeon Commander dropping down an air factory first. So he's probably going to go one air, one land, just like that. So he's spawning in as the blue Aeon AC. You already said that, but it's 1 a.m., so give me a break. And his opponent, we got the lovely Alpha Hex spawning in as the brown Cyber Commander dropping down a land factory he's probably gonna get a bunch of those maybe even an air factory or two we shall see so yep he's got a land factory opener so as you know iron commander has a youtube channel click the link down below to subscribe to him it is awesome it's a lot of point of view play a lot of great things can be learned from him and then we got alpha hex He's also got a YouTube channel. He posts a lot of point of view play as well, tutorials, and a lot of funny haha -ha stuff. So definitely subscribe to them both. And Alpex created this eco viewer, which we will go over after I mention he's getting scouted. Alpex is getting scouted. Iron Commander is scouting and seeing all the things. Yep. He's on to you, buddy. And he's dropping a bomb. Not on, oh, almost on the ACU. But anyhow, Al Albex created this eco viewer. And I have to say it's incredibly useful. So you can see the players' colors, their names, their mass, mass per second, their income per second, that's how much mass they're making. Energy, that's their storage, energy per second, research and research per minute. That's how much research research they are taking in. So Alpex is pushing up with the building of his factories because as you all know you could put you could put struck like anti-air on factories so that is a pretty good fact right there and if you may have seen if this gameplay looks familiar you may have seen it on Alphex's channel he already did a point of view on this one on his channel maybe I will post that so you can see that for yourself it's, it's about a month it's been about a month since that was posted, so maybe you forgot. Maybe you won't remember the outcome. Hopefully you don't. Alvex desperately... Wow! Alvex saved that engineer's life by a hair. Shooing the, those air units away. That one air unit almost died. Iron Commander must have thought it wasn't worth it. Losing an air unit to kill an engineer. I think it might have been, personally. But then again... I'm not Iron Commander. He wants to have at least four there to do his bidding. Yeah, he's just waiting for something to show up here. He could, he could attack that. Yeah, he could definitely attack that. He could attack this. He could... Yeah, he could attack that without any repercussions. So yeah, I think that's why he wants four planes right there, huh? So Iron Commander is expanding slowly. Doesn't really have the mass for that, or he does, and his units are in the way. He has to wait till his units get out of the way. Building in back, because he has air control, doesn't have to worry about air coming to bother him. 
and Alpex can't build them back because as you see what is happening to this one little unit, this one little mass extractor off on its own. So Alpex has to build to the side. Is it gonna... Ooh, Alpex is bringing in that engineer. Will he be able to repair it in time? I don't think that's gonna be enough repair. Yikes, will this do enough damage though? Oh no! Poor Alvax, he couldn't repair it in time. So Alvax is attacking, destroying an expansion that once belonged to Iron Commander. I think that's a dead engineer right there. No, it's a dead. That's a dead loyalist right there. So Iron Commander kind of losing out there. Going to be able to get this engineer. Yeah, that engineer is done, though. Unless this gets done first. I think uh, Iron Commander saw that on the radar and didn't want to deal with it. So two mass extractors were lost. Well, one mass extractor completed, but two mass extractors worth of mass was lost. But he was able to build on the wreck, so only one mass extractor's worth was lost, and only a couple of loyalists were killed. So completely worth it for Alphax. Plus the research gain for that. Definitely worth it. Now Alphax building a little bit of pigeon, maybe a bit of a line here to defend this area for structure detonate if the, his enemy gets past it. Yeah, it could be very useful. Those energy generators are mostly defensive. Maybe they can be used. If he's building a megalith, definitely useful. If he's going jump jet, definitely going to be useful in the long run. Because as you can see, he doesn't have a huge energy bank. He's got a thousand energy in that bank. A pretty good income as well, but he's spending a lot of it because he's building, building, building like nonstop, which is the way to do it. He's got two research stations. Iron Commander has zero research stations. So not very good, but Iron Commander is above in mass by a few ticks. Definitely needs to get out a couple of factories. Definitely needs to get ahead of Alpha X's factory building. I think Alpha X has one, two, three factories. And Iron Commander only has two land factories. But he, no, he's got three land factories now. Well, not now, in like a few seconds he will. But he's got four technically with the bombers. Definitely don't want to be losing those bombers. Don't really want to be engaging right now. I don't know what Iron Commander is thinking. Really engaging right now. Like That is not what you want to do. He's definitely lower on the unit build. On the, on the units there, definitely don't want to really get involved with that. But Alpex thought... Didn't really want to press it. I would have pressed it personally. But then again, you got a bunch of units in the red here. Now, Alphex has decided to go Megalith. I'm wondering if... Have you seen... Okay, scouting that. Yeah, good game sense there. Does is Are people seeing the research pop up? Because I'm not seeing it. But then again, it pops up really fast. Even when I'm playing this game, people think, Oh, yeah, you're cheating. Oh, no, there it is. Wonderful. It's, I really don't notice it. Now, getting a bunch of research. Probably too late for this research to be really, really useful. I think the longer this game goes on, personally, I think Alphex is just going to get more and more of an advantage since he's Cybran. That's how I see this game working. But then again, if... Iron Commander could get teleport, shields, and teleport on these units. They could be incredibly powerful. Now, Alphax has decided to go Brackman, which means that Iron Commander has to be very careful with his micro. A good bombing run taking out two units, really, really, really lowering the number of units that Alphax has. Not a whole lot, but it's happening. Now, this is going to be really bad once this is done. This is almost done. It's going to be incredibly powerful when it comes out. I don't know if Iron Commander is ready for it. He's got Boda Booms, though. 
making these units a little bit more tanky, a lot of bit more tanky. Did you know Boda Booms are absolutely ridiculous when they're paired with your teammate's navy? Incredibly powerful. I, that happened to me. I'll, I think Iron Commander used it against me, and I was all like, why is why are these subs living for a really long time? Well, that's why. Now adapters are being built by Iron, by Alpha X, which is going to really put a damper on Iron Commander's air capabilities. It's really going to make his air not all that useful. Iron Commander's got an over six mass per second lead. Got to pump out more units there. Got to pump out more. Really wants to get that research. And I think he's doing the right thing by backing up. Yielding a lot of space. I think that's the smart thing to do. Yield a lot of space so you could wait to get those shields. At least get the shields. You're going to be a little bit okay. Those shields need to come faster though. The Boda Boom was probably not what you want first. You want to get shields. You're fighting Cyber and always get shields first. Teleport has been has been unlocked. Definitely a useful tool. Teleporting units all around the Megalith. That's how you do it. Definitely don't want to get in the face of the bots because those bots have an incredibly powerful ability. I think all of the adapters have been destroyed so the bombers have free reign. You don't want to get too close because if you get too close, the units will structure detonate. Power detonate has been researched. Oh no! Alpex did a really good job at power detonating, but Iron Commander moved out of the way. Is that Megalith going to die? That Megalith is dead, but so is a lot of Iron Commander's units. Was it worth it? I don't know. Yeah, a megalith, almost ha another megalith is almost done too. So, got to get those shields. Movement speed for Alpha X. Now that is going to change the game. A point defense right there. That is probably a good idea. Training 2. Get shields, buddy. Training 2 is going to make these units more powerful. Probably didn't know that point defense was going to be right there. Probably don't want to stick around. Yeah, I don't know how our commander is going to win this. Yeah, he doesn't have the troops at all. This is a good move, though. Iron Commander is pushing a small group of units. But Alpex has a Megalith coming off the... Off the... Hot off the presses. Okay, now we got... Willpower detonate happen. Ooh! And I think that training keeps power detonate from killing the, the units, so... That might actually have been a good idea to get power detonate. I'm not seeing a lot of Boda Booms, though. Point defense, a very good... Those point defense are really, really doing... Putting some work in. Yeah, Iron Commander can't keep this up. If he's not taking out Megaliths, he can't keep this up. Alphax is just going to outproduce him. Yeah, I don't think there's enough damage to take out that Megalith. Now, now there's shields. Gotta watch out for that power detonate. Yeah, those... These two point defense right here outrageously powerful I like how Iron Commander is building troops out here though gotta rally them these two units are useless they need to do something they need to get in the fight now a single mass extractor loss brings Iron Commander's mass per second down 
just a little bit. Iron Commander does not have enough mass to keep up. Now a second gantry. This is going to make this very difficult for Iron Commander. Iron Commander has a little bit of a... Ooh, power detonate. It's a little bit of a... Well, let's just see what happens here. These Megas are surviving every attack. Ooh, power detonate doing its job, I told you. Alright, one Mega down. But there's going to be two coming out very, very sure. Well, there's another one right there. Now, that's a, a really hard spot for Iron Commander to fight in. Now, this is a really good thing. Althex has control of the reclaim, the rec the wreckage, the battlefield. All he has to do is to set units on patrol, and he's getting a lot of free mass. And not to mention they're there just repairing units, so... Is Iron Commander going to be able to stop this? He gets a point defense out of the way, but there's still two. I don't think Iron Commander could do much here. But he's got a lot of factories now. A whole lot of factories. Will he be able to hold out? He's sending attack waves to Alvex's base, which is a really good move. But Alvex is pressing his advantage, which is the right thing for him to do as well. Iron Commander doing a very good job teleporting in. Those point defense aren't doing as much damage as they were. Alvex slowly losing out on units. Iron Commander wants those Megas dead, and I cannot blame him. Alvex losing Megas. What did... Okay. Alvex research jump jets. Oh, jump jetting! Power detonating units, an incredible feat. Now, that is how you play this game. Alphex is now on the back foot. He doesn't have very many, many units, but that is okay because he is able to power detonate his units. So that means one unit could take out an entire army if power detonated properly. Now, Alphex is in a lot of danger here. Power detonate on the mass extractor. Now, you would think, oh, a bomb, oh no, a BB. Now, that was a good bait, taking out a whole bunch of those units. Now, we got an OP bomb bouncer on the field. Does not have very much range, but when it is in range, damage is done. If there's a Mega coming out of that, this is going to be a powerful combination. Alpex losing a lot of stuff here. Not very good for Alpex, but a Bomb Bouncer, two Bomb Bouncers, and a Megalith. Oh, no, he got baited again. Losing a lot of units, but Iron Commander is way ahead. He is. Now, this is the advantage of having a bunch of smaller units that you could put them all over the battlefield to take out a lot of stuff. Iron Alpex only has a few large units. Don't get me wrong, he's got a bunch of small units too. But did this just get turned around on Alpex? Is Alpex going to lose? No. No way. No way. Yeah, if you notice Iron Commander keeping far away from units because they will blow up in his face. That teleport was quite unnecessary, but that wants to kill it before that bomb bouncer comes out. And it's dead. Core mass being absolutely annihilated. Will Alphax be able to win this? He doesn't have very many units. Loyalty gun being researched. If a loyalty gun could be built, it's checkmate. Because Iron Commander has units everywhere. That is great control. Now, 
I've always wanted to control Aeon units like that, but I just can't. Cybran, my preferred faction, personally, because I like the big units much easier to control. But, as you can see here, Alphax is in deep doo-doo, but we got the nanobot weapon, which is highly effective against small units. Look at them, their life just drain. But this one survives because the shield pops on at the last moment. Now Alvex is pushing in. Getting some damage on these factories. This loyalty gun is not anywhere near complete. Alvex needs... Oh, he loses a mega! Not ideal at all. That was his ranged option. Albex doing some good damage here. Albex not looking very healthy. That ACU is in the red. That bomb bouncer taking out a few units. Needs to charge back up though. No engineers. Albex's base is completely gone. Albex needs to let his a ACU heal up. Oh, Alvex control Cade for some reason. I wanted to see him fight his way in to that base. Very unlikely, but it could have happened because he had two OP bomb bouncers. But this, I think, was sent to me by Alvex. So, way to go sending me a replay where you, you almost won, but didn't. And congratulations, Iron Commander. That was quite a match. I mean, honestly, I don't know how you did it. I thought it was in the bag for Alpha Hex 100%. 150% there when those point defense were there and all those units were pushing up. I thought it was in the bag. But Iron Commander used his mess wisely. That is the mark of a good player. He knew what he needed. He knew he needed a bunch of factories. Factories that he could use to pummel his opponent and he did it amazing job iron commander amazing job to alfax as well i my mind is blown about this match one of the better matches i've casted in a while i take that back i've casted a lot of good matches the last two weeks the 1v1 matches are very intense thank you for sending me this replay alfax i cannot believe it excellent excellent job Wow. So anyhow, very well played by both players. Thank you for playing it. Subscribe to both Alphax and Iron Commander's YouTube channel. Click the link down below to check them out. They are the best players in the world playing right now. Gotta give them all the love you can. So yes, like this video, subscribe to my channel. Favorite it because it helps me out. Send you re good replays that still speaks at gmail.com. Or do like Alphax did. He joined his, the Supreme Commander 2 Discord server by clicking the link down below. Find it there. Click that link. Join it. He found hashtag replays for still speaks. He uploaded it there and he added me and he was patient. He is, he is waiting up. His waiting paid off. Or you could direct message me and the replay. Well, you find me on that, you know, Discord and direct message me. Or you could send it to still speaks at gmail.com. Whichever you prefer. Only do one. You do more than one. I will be very mad at you. Only send your replay once. Because I get I get confused. Yeah. That's that's what happens. So please follow instructions. So yeah. Definitely, definitely join the Supreme Commander to Discord server. There's over three thousand members. That is a lot of members for a game that is, you know, over eleven years old. Like what, thir thirteen years old now? Thirteen years old, guys. So that's pretty amazing. We're keeping it alive. And you can keep it alive too by joining. Q Alpha Hex is at now. What? You still haven't joined the biggest Supreme Commander 2 Discord in the world with over 1,000? Uh, 2,000? You have General, Hall of Fame, all the YouTube channels, all the YouTube videos, streaming, uh, don't, don't worry about that. Ask for some help, post some memes, send some replays, find a game, dead chat. We even have a channel for all the Xbox Subcom 2 players. So what are you waiting for? Click the first link in the video description or just type Supreme Commander 2 in this thing that nobody will ever use. You should join now.
comment down below, say something nice about the players, about the game, just be kind, we just need a lot of more, I think we need a lot more kindness in this world, personally, because I think that's what we need, honestly. So yeah, if you like what I do, and you want to support this channel, the Patreon page, click the link down below to get involved with that. A big shout out to Iron Commander, Alphax, Prelia Tornex, and Cohen for being amazing patrons. Thank you guys so, so much for hooking it up. And if you want to be, you know, if a subscription service isn't right for you, go to Ko-Fi. Join Ko-Fi and please, please give me some cash there. Helps me out a lot. A big shout out to Colin300 and Dr. Pearl for giving me a lot of cash. Thank you guys so much. It means a lot to me. I appreciate you all. And if you don't want to spend any money, I got you. I understand. But you want to support me anyway. Watch my videos all the way through. Feed the YouTube algorithm by liking, subscribing, commenting, doing all that stuff I already told you to do. Feed the algorithm. And if you want to be even more awesome, check out my band's YouTube videos. My band's YouTube, my band's music videos. Watch them all the way through. Like them. Comment on them. You know, do all that stuff. Feed that algorithm. And if you want to be even more awesome, feed my band Spotify algorithm by following, by playing back to you two times, three times, four times through, all the way through, adding back to you to a playlist, sharing it with people you like, you know, you care about. And those are ways you could help me out without spending a dime. Thank you guys so much for listening to me, and I appreciate you. So yeah, I think I'm going to end this share with your friends, family, and foes can need something interesting to watch as well. As always, everyone, G. Gee.